We're back on the couches, right? I know, right? That's Yo, so somebody sent me a heartfelt message. Oh, it's a heartfelt message. They're like, guys, I love the podcast, but sometimes I don't have like that long to watch. It's like, plus, I would just like it if you guys could really try to fit in your schedule to, to sit on the couches and do the other talk on top of the podcast. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to Italian Football TV. Mike, we're just saying how it's been a while since we yeah. were sitting on these couches sitting on and these doing couches. this. Feels good, right? We comfy. keep getting messages from everybody who keeps saying, guys, go back on the couches, on top of the podcast, because I love the podcast. But guys, we try it. Like, we, there's so many things, even like behind the camera, Social behind media, all this stuff. We have so much stuff. We have business. the business side. There's so much, but... Yeah, Either way, we're, we're back on the couches. A it's nice. Bit. Listen, we don't have the madness of, of uh, Antonio, and we don't have the sameness of Gaetano, but either yeah. way, um, wow, that, that got me, I'm smiling, but we're talking about Roma, Liverpool, um, we live streamed the match, five, you know, they were up 5-0, these fucking Liverpool, and, and Roma were able to come back towards the end of the match, the last 10-15 minutes, and get two goals to savage what was a terrible night, a night completely unlike a Roma that we've seen an entire season, we saw Roma, even when Roma was in Barcelona and played in Spain, they did have a good match. It was unlucky that it was 4-1, but they did have a good match. Hmm. And this one, if it was going to 5-0, I was ready to flip a fucking table The thing or is, Roma had, that, that, that had to be the worst, like, first 70, 70 minutes that I've ever seen Roma play, like, ever in their whole season. That, that was horrendous. They couldn't string one pass together. Manolas was bad. The whole midfield defense. was bad. The defense, they, they, weren't for, they weren't a unit. They kept losing the ball. Liverpool kept counterattacking. They played a high line, and they kept losing the full race against Liverpool. Defense from Roma was way too high up. Yeah. They were all individuals. Di Francesco went on after the match. He said, guys, we keep losing these balls, these 50-50 balls. Every 50-50 ball was lost. And then when you got Mane, Firmino, and Salah, and of course, Salah, the incredible season, the incredible player that he is. Um, too much space given to him, too much, too much speed. I mean, we were lucky that Mane didn't score that one where he blew past Fazio. But either way, despite all of that, um, I mean, they they completely outplayed um, Roma and deserved to win. Liverpool definitely deserved to win. But what I'm gonna say is two things. Number one, the lack of belief from so many people. At when it was even 2-0, everyone was giving up. 3-0, everyone was giving up. The fourth goal, Salah was off sides on that fourth goal. Mm -hmm. And everybody says that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it was off sides. We'll all give up. Di Francesco sucks. Di Francesco out. All these ridiculous things. Di Francesco is part of the reason why Roma are even here in the first place. How are you going to give up in this instance? Look at Roma. They gave up a little bit too much when it was 3 or 4-0. But coming back... And Jekyll scoring and Perotti scoring, that it this is just like the game. I mean, I don't want to say just, but I think it's even better than the game against Barcelona because against Barcelona they didn't even have two away goals. Now they have two away goals. They can come back to the Stadio Olimpico where they are epic and pull this off. You have to believe. Like De Rossi said, we've done it before, we can do it again. Yes, Bar you might say Barcelona an off night. Why can't Liverpool? Liverpool without Salah gets weak, and I think that Roma. Roma, it's going to be hard to stop them from scoring. That's going to be key. But Roma could definitely pull this off. People are pushing them too no. hard that they're out. But like they're not said, out. Like you said before, it's going to be hard to stop them. But then again, it, it would be very hard to stop Messi and Cole with Barcelona. And that's what they did exactly. And you know what keeps me a little bit uh, even better? Optimistic. That, uh, yeah, that keeps me a little bit even more optimistic. They did it against Barcelona. They did it. and They could do it again. Are you great? And they played so bad. Against Barcelona, they played great and they lost. Today, they played bad and they lost. It, uh, they still need the same amount of goals. We knew they were going to concede it at Anfield. We know that Liverpool's attack is one of the best in the world. But, um, and uh, disappointing, it shouldn't have been five goals. They should have been able to stop that. And I think that was very bad. Um, I'm scared with the lack of with the lack of the midfield that I was very disappointed in Schrumman and Chen Gizunder. And, and like, Di Francesco made a good point. He says everybody, you know, you blame the defense, which was bad. Manolas was individual, and then they were beating them, and you can't play three man with these three anyway. But also the midfield and the attack, you need to stop them from sending the balls in. They're the first line of defense for Roma, and I think that as a unit, Roma did not do a good job. They could have had another goal. I was hoping a third goal would have made this insane. Yeah. But even at 5-2, this is not 
out. I know these damn commentators that we have, they freaking giving no respect. Momentum for Roma went a little bit up. Listen, they like to make us, they like to stress us out. They like to make it complicated. They went through the group of death with Atletico and with Chelsea. They did it against Barcelona. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but either way, Roma are winning being here and they cannot give up now. You can't give up. Everyone needs to believe. The only thing we know is if they play like they did Barcelona, it's game on. It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But and if they're out, yo, you lost to a good Liverpool too. Like, why is everybody saying Di Francesco out? We always do this. We always choke. You're in the semifinals of yeah. freaking Champions League. This, this is where like, you have to believe. This is incredible. If you don't believe here, when are you supposed to believe? Don't you know? be a team. This, this is it. Exactly. Do not, if you're going to roll over and give up, they, they wouldn't have even gotten those two goals at the end where our friend Max, everyone who's watching the live stream knows our, our friend who was supporting Liverpool, Max. Listen, he's nervous. He even says, I think we're going to score a goal in Rome because Liverpool's very good at scoring goals. But either way, Roma need to be perfect. They need to have the perfect match. Liverpool need to be a little bit off. They need to play as a unit and as a team. And if they do that, um, I will say that, listen, definitely chances. Uh, they're underdogs again. Underdogs again like they've been all season. But if they did it once, they could definitely do it again. Can. And, and Di Francesco went a little bit against that. De Rossi says we, if we did it before, we could do it again. Um, I, I think that Roma... Yeah, a lot of people are disappointed, but um, there's a lot of factors, a lot of mentality in this one and playing at Anfield. The the return leg, Manolas even said after they beat Barcelona, when we have this stadium around us, when we have our fans around us cheering us on for 90 minutes, there is nothing that we can't do. So now it's time to prove it. If you do, you go to the final. If you can't, listen, Roma have done an incredible display, but for everyone supporting Roma, um, even if you're not a Roma fan, respect to you, but either way, Keep the belief alive. This tie is not dead. It's anyway, true. guys, you and heard what we have to say. One more thing. If Roma didn't believe, they wouldn't be here right now. Exactly. So at the end of the day, you just got to believe. And we would have ran them off. We ran them off. Everyone's ran them off they a long time the, ago. They would have been off in the group stage. They would have exactly. been out in the Europa League. Exactly. But now they're in the semifinals. So, guys, um, you heard what we had to say. Now we want to hear what you have to say. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new to this. Like the video to join. Uh, we'll have a podcast coming maybe tomorrow with Antonio and Gaetano. And we'll get into our views. But uh, so subscribe so that you could get that notification. Let's go. As I'm always, excited. guys. Uh, ex- disappointed uh, because Roma is better than a 5 But excited that they didn't give up. But excited that they, they didn't give up in the end. Exactly. Daja so, yeah. Roma. Da, yes. Let's go, guys. See you guys. Ciao, Ciao guys.